Okay, guys, here's another little short video. Um, more stuff on this smart tempo in the new Logic 10.4. Now, I've put up two tutorial videos already, and somebody asked a question, and they asked, I've got some multi-track stems recorded by a band, and the band was playing to a click track, but the playing is a bit drifty. Should I use this smart tempo to tighten it up? And the answer is no. No. What the smart tempo does, remember, is it adapts the tempo to the looseness of the playing. So if we adapt the project tempo to the looseness of that playing that was played to a click at a fixed tempo, but they were just a bit loose, we'll end up with subtle tempo changes across which will keep the subtle looseness of the playing and it won't tighten the playing at all. If you've got multi-track stems that are recorded to a click and they're a little bit loose, you need to tighten them to the exact click tempo with the flex. Let's have a look at that. I've got some audio here. Bring it in. And I'm not going to import the tempo information. The tempo of the project is 120. Right? Now, if we were to... Let's check the downbeats are correct first. Downbeat, no, they're not. That's a downbeat. So let's set that as a downbeat. Now let's hear it from this downbeat there. Let's hear it. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four, two, three, four, five. Now the downbeats are correct. Now, if we analyze this order, this, let's say this was played to a click, but it's a little bit drifty. We now adapt the project tempo to this slightly drifty playing. And we end up with these very slight tempo changes all the way across which adapts the tempo to the looseness of the playing so the playing has not been tightened at all the tempo has been very subtly varied to keep that subtle looseness of the playing so that won't tighten it what you need to do is find out what was the click tempo that they played to now if you can find that information then you simply fix the tempo whatever that click tempo was and then we'll use the flex to tighten the audio to the click tempo. If you don't know what the uh, click tempo was, then bring the audio in, do the analysis, check the downbeats are correct, then adapt the project tempo to that audio and have a look and see. If the band was playing to a click, these subtle tempo changes are only going to be two beats per minute apart. And what we're seeing here is these tempo changes range from... 142.4 to 141.5, just one beat per minute difference, then 142.9, 141.3, 141.3, 142.5. So they're playing somewhere between 141, mostly they go over 141 though, they're playing somewhere between 141 and 143. That was the click they were playing to. It's somewhere between there. Right? It's either 141, 142 or 143, but probably 142 because the variations are going from 141 to 143. So then what we do is we who, we know the click tempo now. Ideally, you would have been told it, but if you have to find it out, do it like that. Hoover up all those tempo nodes, then fix the tempo at that tempo which I'm going to go with 142 right now we've got the fixed click tempo that this band was playing to but they're a bit drifty now we tighten the audio to that fixed tempo that fixed click tempo now it's very important that the downbeat analysis was done you've checked that the downbeats are on actual downbeats of the playing in other words the bright orange downbeat lines are on the first beat of each bar of the playing and then we've got the fixed tempo and now we use the flex to tighten the audio to that fixed tempo to re-tighten it. So we bring in the flex, flex dive by default, the flex and follow for audio should be off, right? Switch on the flex and set it to on and align bars and that will line up the, the downbeat of the first beat of each bar of the playing to the bar lines that will drag them subtly to each bar line that will tighten it up an, a, a hell of a lot
right? If you want to tighten it even more, because at the moment we've only tightened the downbeats of the plane to the first beat of each bar, like there, then on the next bar, here, what at bar 28, there the downbeat's been tightened to that bar line. And then here at the next bar 29, that downbeat has been tightened. But the quarter beats in between have not been tightened. They're loose. They're as loose as whatever they were. Just the downbeats, the first beat of each bar has been lined up with the bar lines of the fixed click tempo. If you want to tighten up the quarter beats as well, then you just change the flex and follow for that audio to on and the line bars and beats. And that tightens up the quarter beats as well and makes it even tighter. But any eighths and sixteenths in between, they will not be moved to their nearest eighth or sixteenth line. And now we've got the bars and the beats lined up, which makes it very tight. Right? So that's what it sounds like quantized to the click tempo with the flex or, or tightened to the fixed click tempo with the flex. Have a listen again. But if we listen, if we added it to its original tempo with all those subtle fluctuations, then let's do that. Bam, there it is. Now have a listen to the same bit. How different does it sound? Take the flex off, right? You see, it's not, it's, it's subtle, the difference, right? But that's how you do it. Do not, if you've got multi-track stems that were recorded to a click and they're loose, there's no point adapting the tempo because then you completely retain the looseness of the playing. Fix the tempo, right? Put on the flex, fix the tempo, at the, whatever the click tempo was for that session. Make sure in the analysis the downbeats are correct on the first beat of each bar of the playing and then put on the flex and flex the music to tighten to the original click tempo. Set it on on and line bars or on and line bars and beats to be even tighter. That is how you do that. And incidentally, one of the other guys asked, I wonder how tight Sly and Robbie's playing is. Um, well, this is Sly and Robbie. So let's find out. That's how tight their playing is. That's from the late 80s, this bit of music. But they only vary the tempo by two beats per minute. Here it's at 143. Here it's at 141, 143.2, 141.4, 141.3, 141.1. .1. It just varies by a couple of beats per minute here and there. And there are some bits across four bars there and across four bars there, and four bars there, and four bars there, where the, and there, where they, they lock into the group, then they they drift a bit, lock back in, etc. But with these kind of tempo changes, you, you listening to it with a click, it sounds like it is done to a click. It's very subtle, the timing. Uh, there you go. All right, so I hope that's useful.